Hey guys, Game Hunter here, and we're back with Ang Band. It's like a rubber band, but about a million times more exciting. So we got Ilva Dude. I guess Sullivan is still technically alive, but whatever. You know how these games go. It's, it's hardcore action. And we got the maggot farmer dog after us. So let's do what we always do in such a situation. Kick up those jamming tunes and annihilate them with, you know, magic missile. Okay, so these things love to multiply. Unfortunately, I can't kill them very quickly. Uh, if I'm lucky, I'm killing them about as fast as they're multiplying here, but I'm afraid that if I take a look at what's... Yeah, there's quite a few of these little guys. Uh, I guess I'll just use the opportunity whenever I get a magic missile to just insta-kill one, basically. We're hoping that it's an insta-kill. Yeah, these guys are multiplying really fast. Uh, and I imagine they're doing it off-screen, too. So, that's something to worry about. Slain, so, you know, it's possible to kill the one-hit these things. Which is good. And I'm already getting hungry. That's great. Maybe if they see where I am, it'll help. Anyway, let's try to eat food. I'm no longer hungry. So it only takes one turn to eat food. That's surprising, I guess. Usually it's a little harder than that. Alright. Ah, oh, man, it's really annoying to fight, like, enemies that keep respawning. At best, I have the, the possible poison attack thing that I could use, but I don't know how well that's actually going to work. What I really need to do at this point is to get a better item. Just a much better attack. And screw you. Well, you're almost dead. Even though clearly the enemy just keeps coming back for more! This is where being a priest would come in handy, because I could heal myself instead of having to worry about the possibility of dying. Uh, in that direction, yes. There we go. <laughs> Kind of splash you with damage. There we go. And we're just going to run away from that whole shebang. Because I just do not even care anymore. Okay, giant black ant. What are you? Alright, you're worth some points. Let's actually kill you. Correctly. So how come that ant looks different from the soldier ant? I mean, besides the color. The soldier ant looked very... I don't know, dots. And you're a wild cat. Wild cats need to be magic missile. Oh crap, crows. Crows are actually pretty nasty. Oh boy. Okay. Rather, they get in a lot of attacks. That's... I fell into a spike pit. I am impaled on poisonous spikes. That's great. You know what's also great? Poison curing. Uh, well, not poison curing, as you can see. Wow, that's actually a really nasty... That was really nasty. Wow. Ah, oh, man, I was supposed to time that. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to make a macro. I'm going to be right back. Figure out how to do macros. Probably should have done this before the video. Oh, boy. Okay, so, interestingly enough, creating a macro isn't that bad. And, and don't mind that I moved ten tiles west. That was just... Anyway, so you go to... You press your equal button to go to the options menu. Interact with key maps. And then you create a key map. You go ahead and just use a button. Let's use the exclamation point. And um, so we just basically type in the combo. And I, I was just off on the screen trying to figure out. Okay. So we can see the actions coming up here. And we basically just literally type in a macro. And that's what I want. M for the spell book open up. A for uh, the, you know, the first book in my inventory. A for magic missile. And then the asterisk to target. At that point, I still want the flexibility to, to determine where... Yes, I know emergencies are happening. Um, oh, whoops. Crap. There we go. So you actually press this when you're finished. And then you just go ahead and save it. And there you go. So, I don't know if there was anything else appended. It doesn't seem like there's really anything appended to these buttons. So... And then I just press T to finish off. And then we just go like this. And yes. That is so much, so much useful. That is just so much useful. Um... It'd also be nice to, 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 
use that. I wish there would be like a way to to have a macro where you could decide you could have a, a free space, kind of a joker wild card, but then continue on because ideally what I would have is the ability to um, uh, what do you call it? To put equip the shovel and then tunnel and then it would tell me what direction do I want so I do that and then it would automatically re-equip whatever I had going so I don't know whatever Is this downstairs I see no downstairs it's sometimes that's hard to notice with these these so-called old tiles and I think these are the mice that I was fighting earlier yes probably wow these things really explosively breed don't they so it's uh spend time killing you guys I guess Explosive breeding. That's definitely what you call this. I mean, look at this. There's still so many of them. What the heck? How much experience do they even give? That's a, that's a good question. 0.17. Uh. Oh, and my light's growing faint. I, um, 46 turns. Okay. I still got time. Whatever. Just close. Darn it. I meant to close that door. Guess I'll have to wait until they. There we go. I don't think mice can actually. Oh crap! Rock lizard. Um, it's probably fight you. Darn it! I need to remember that it's, that it's one uh, exclamation point, not one. Keep just pressing one without the. And you're an enemy. Uh, I guess I don't know whether or not that actually worked. So let's go ahead and refuel our our light source. There we go. Okay, so you're dead now. What are you? Gray mushroom patch and a crow. Okay. Kill. You're not quite dead, Mr. Crow. Not quite dead. Can I, like, maybe kill you normally? That would be nice. And you're a mold, right? Yeah, I gotta be worried about the molds. Oh, jellies. Ooh, do jellies move? That's a good question. Does not deem to chase and trick. So that's an that's a, ne a negatory. So yeah, there's one way to check turn count. 49, 49, rest is needed. And I imagine SP will be slower than HP. So let's see how this works. So at this point, now we have... So that took 120 turns. That's, that's a while. <laughs> oh boy, that's a while. Anyway, let's just target... How much experience are you guys worth? Um, Three point, yeah, that's that's probably w worth doing this. There we go. All right then. So this place doesn't seem so bad, but I mean, who knows? I could. Oh yes, right. The evil white mice menace. Guess that means we're just gonna have to go downstairs. Is, are you at least a downstairs? You look like you might be a downstairs, even though they look the same, really. <laughs> So we got the Tech Monster spell, that's right. Let's go ahead and use that, so I know where I should probably be going. Like down here, to fight a bunch of easy peasies, I think, right? Where, oh, let's, let's just do searching mode, search mode. Search mode takes double time. Or maybe it was, huh, really, nothing? Well, I'm surprised. I guess I was expecting to be able to go that way. But whatever. I guess we'll just take the long route. Only scraps of junk. Man. I want to find something interesting. I guess I could I could do uh like um floor spamming until I find a, a nice interesting place, but I don't know. Whatever. Uh oh that's that's actually something to eat. Okay. Okie dokie. Um now we say, do this, this, there we go, and back to there, so there we go, much, much, much better. Oh crap, I am being terrified by something I can't see. Um, oi, does one of my spells allow for this? That's non-invisible. What about, what about light area? Does that potentially... All light-sensitive monsters in the area of effect. Well, that sounds good, although it's probably going to take a while to learn this spell. 
kind of worried about that. Oh, well, it didn't, that didn't look like it took any time at all. So let's go ahead and try to use it. Okay, that didn't actually do anything. Yeah, this is gonna suck. I think I'm just gonna run away. You feel bolder now. You know, just back down and up. There we go. Ta-da. Laos Naga Kobold Archer. Oh, this is a this is a fine kettle of fish. Let's kill you first. Oh, that didn't work at all. Dang. Uh, I guess yeah. We'll just do. Whatever stuff. Oh, did I level up? I think I leveled up. Yes, I must have. My spell points got working. Okay, so you're dead. Thirty bolts. Those must be heavy. But I have I have room in my inventory, and you're a clear icky thing. Clearly an icky thing, aren't you? Well, fine. I'm just gonna kill you then. I hit it. Ah, oh, great. Did did the thing? Did that invisible thing follow me? Oh. Hey. Um, it tries to cast a spell but fails. Great. Are you a glutton ghost? If you're just a glutton ghost, that's actually not so bad. But, there's got to be a better way to find invisible enemies that doesn't involve constantly having true sight abilities. Uh, like casting a, you know, a debuff or something. I don't know. Casting a way to, to I hit it. Well, maybe, uh... Maybe that'll work. Really? Failed to concentrate hard enough. Boy. Man. Well, maybe I can continue to run away from you. Or we can just go down this way. That, that doesn't seem too bad. Let's see how far I can rest. Yeah, you already woke up. That's that just amazing. Oh, you're not dead yet? Huh. Wow, you were pretty nasty, weren't you there, old guy? It's better just being a kobold. Kebab. Man, what is with this fail to concentrate? I'm at 5%. It just kind of craps out on me all the time. Huh. Whatever. Fail to concentrate. That is happening too many times. Okay, you're already running. Wow. <laughs> How about that? And a lot more bolts. That's a lot of bolts. You feel there are not but cow. Okay, well, that's not an invisible enemy, at least. At least it's not an invisible something or other. Mr. Shovel, thank you very much. There we go. White Ant. How tough for you? Oh, you're worth three points. That's pretty good. Although, it's not that good. <laughs> Strangely enough. I have one more for the road. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think I'm doing... Jeez. You know what I'd love? I'd love a like a frost ray spell. Maybe I should go head back to the surface and see what I can uh, see if I can go buy a a nice looking like spell book. That sure would come in handy. And is this? Yeah, that leads somewhere. Cool. All right. I, mean, I don't really have that much gold. I'll be quite honest. I had certainly had a lot more back when I was my fighter. Uh, on that retry, because <laughs> that's that's just how that had, ended up happening. Uh, cancel? Why? There we go. Is it done? Come on. I'm using the shovel, right? There we go. Took me long enough to figure that out. Oh geez, jelly, evil jelly. We save enough HP, I think, to handle this guy. It's it's nasty. There we go. Nice and dead. And there's nothing in here at all oh, except you. Where did you come from? Ta-da! Lots of scrolls there. I'm very tempted to start casting some of these. Uh, but let's see what the scroll of identify actually does. It reveals to you an extent of an item's magical powers. Okay. Not sure if I used one yet, but some games. I think. Um, oh, geez, what game was it that basically identified everything? And what are you? Oh, you're just a soldier, ant. Yeah. Well, you get to die, then. Although, this room is kind of worrying. Because, uh... Such rooms usually involve invisible glutton ghosts. Or at least, just in my experience. 
good good chance of them showing up there. So yeah, my regeneration is certainly improving. Oh wow, I found something. That's <clears throat> seems unlikely, but whatever. That's good times. That's that's what that is. Interestingly enough. Well, interestingly enough, there actually isn't that much interesting going on right now, and I'm kind of coming to the point in the game where I feel like I should perhaps only do something that you guys see, um, you know, if it's, if it's something new, basically, like showing you a macro, or, oh wait, what happened? The yellow jelly drains your mana away? How did he do that from way over there? A very craziness. Okay, we're, we're oh crap! That was an enemy. I thought that was kind of like rubble. <clears throat> yeah, obviously it wasn't. And you're a bunch of louses, evil breeding, explosively louses. Ugh. You know, I'm get yeah. I'm tempted to just kind of ex destroy you all. Silver mouse, silver. I think silver is actually bad for me because. I remember Silver draining mana on his fighter, I just said, whatever, I'm, I, I don't really care because I don't use mana, but in the case of being a mana user, that would actually have some importance. All right, so anyway, this is floor four. <laughs> floor four is actually quite boring. Ah, darn it, what, what are you? Animals? You're mice. Well, maybe I can get to you close enough. Uh, he explodes explosively. I just go downstairs. Is this the down? No, that's that, that's the up. This is the down. Got to read it left to right. And you are, yeah, you're. How hurt are you? Now you're worth a lot of experience, though. Let's see how well I can actually kill you, huh? Who oh boy? Okay, there's a number of them. Hopefully there aren't too many, because I only have so much stuff. Ooh, a main gouch. Gosh. You know what? <laughs> I still don't know how to pronounce I think it was gosh. Or gout, um, gooch? No, probably not. Sorry, guys, I couldn't remember that. Oh, well. I think it is a better weapon, technically, but I need to... Okay, let's, let's go ahead and take a look this time. 25, 6, 9... 2442. So that was a little faster because I had more to regenerate that time. Oh, and I leveled up. I didn't even notice me leveling up, but apparently that happened. So that's that's kind of a, a thing, if you will. So let's go ahead and continue with our things of I of things that like to cover me in acid. That's just dandelions, and I'm already getting hungry. That's that's great. Let's go ahead and eat some food. Ta-da! See, ooh, wow, enveloped in flames could be horrible when you're wearing, you know, oh wait, when you're wearing leather stuff. Yeah, and cloaks especially. Um, in the meantime, yeah, right. There's no in the meantime, you just kill them, right? <laughs> Come on, guy. Oh, crap. Um, I meant to go with the shovel. There we go. So we got more copper, much better. So, wait, why am I, uh... Am I wielding both of them? How does that work? This is... Oh, is it in my... I, it's in my left hand, is it? No. I'm gonna do left hand. I mean, it kind of makes sense, and I just quivered <laughs> the bolts, whatever. <clears throat> um, in fact, where's my shovel? Um, oh, it's equipped. Duh, 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 duh. duh. But now it's not equipped because I gotta do this. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, I think. Okay, start with, figure this out. Continue to tunnel. Yes, thank you. There we go. Um, found nothing. There we go. So yes, I guess just in general, there isn't a lot of excitement going on because there's a lot of cases where I just gotta stop and do something that, that doesn't really isn't really exciting. Ah oh, man, yeah there goes the part of my cloak. Darn it. 
Well, it, that happens. Until you get acid resistant gear or something. I don't know. That might, that might work, in fact. And you were a centipede. I could have sworn you were going to be another Naga, but I guess not. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What just happened? Um, you were sh surrounded by a gas of scintillating colors. That must have been a trap. Yeah, I'm actually on a trap. And it's been disarmed, because as we know, I'm actually 43% uh, chance with disarming. Hooray for that. And what are you? You're a harpy. In fact, how hard are you, though? Not Wow, you're really not that difficult at all. And being, being a white harpy... What? Do you really want to commit suicide? That's, that's not a button I want anywhere near anything. I should probably remap that something. Fruit bat? Fruit, I'm more curious what the... Oh, whoops. Whatever. I guess that just kind of happened. Wow, they're worth a lot of experience. She may carry a single treasure. That's, that's awfully kind of you, Miss Green Naga. Wait, what? What just happened? Gosh darn it. Uh, can I hit you? Yeah, there we go. Ta-da. Ooh, and you had... Nice, she had Word of Recall. That's that's worth a lot of money. So I'm very glad that that's, that's what ended up popping out there. Uh, one of the things I'm really liking about... Well, for, for starters, the whole macro business um, was actually in previous games. If I'm not... jeez. Oh, Large kobolds are actually going to be a problem, aren't they? Because if you notice, they're worth a lot of experience. And often... Experience is a good measure of enemy difficulty. Come on! Oh wow, that's that's a lot of uh, hurt. Come on, there we go. You're nice and dead. And what, what's left here? Copper. Okay, let's just try to heal up as much as I can here. 1630. 1481. Yes. Well, that was 15 spell points, so that's to be expected. Ooh, copperheads, right? I should have known a copperhead was going to be poisonous. But, uh, I guess I didn't care that much. <laughs> and that's just a big roundabout. But yeah, the macros are nice. Um, and in the game, I would say in this game at the very least, and that stuff's going to really start burdening me, but in, in a game such as this, uh, macros seem to be more important because it's very, very selective. Oh, crap. You can fire magic missiles. <laughs> um, it's very... It gives you a lot of possibilities of what can be can and can't be done. And it looks like I just leveled up. Cool. Very cool. So, therefore, you, you should actually consider making some quick shortcuts. Like, for instance, firing magic missile. Um, in most games... I'm trying to think of a good example, actually. Um... Because in some games, you know, it, it's a lot easier to cast spells. Um, mostly, I guess, it's the fact that you have to cast from which book, and then you pick a spell, and then you pick your direction. Um, so, that's the big one, I think. Uh, it just feels like an extra unnecessary, I guess. But whatever. Oh, really? You're t I guess I missed him or something. But I did find a wand from it, so that's cool. And, wow, I'm... This is like a really dark area. You know what this calls for? This calls for um, that one spell that lights areas. There we go. Much better. Oh, man. I really... I'm really going to have to remove that somehow. Okay. Well, you're dead, and you gave me some speckled potions, and oh my goodness. This is actually going to be... Well, maybe this isn't going to be so bad. Because I do have a, well, better AC than I did that one time. Failed to concentrate hard enough. Okay. Oh wow, really? Already? Freeze and tear. Let's just try to finish you. Oh wow, that was that was a big amount of damage there. Um Yeah, cure light wounds, thank you. There's still quite a few of these guys, aren't there? Great. At least they I don't think oh crap. Okay, he can cast nasty spells. Great. As in, not great. Oh, jeez. Maybe that wasn't the best combination to use. 
Okay, well, at least I think all of them finally died. So. At least all of them around the area. Okay, let's just go ahead and uh, heal up then. Cobalt, 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 etc. Giant green frog, that's going to be the poisonous kind. Alright. Very nice. So let's end the video with using word of well, is it a good place? I, oh, crap! I'm actually overweight at this point because I picked up studded leather. Armor. Well, I was gonna use scroll of recall anyway, so let's just go up there. Just wait until I get back. It just takes time. I should probably one day count this out. Okay, there we go. Can I light up this area? That's a good question. Um, light area. Nah, it didn't really work. <laughs> oh well. Alchemy shop, weaponsmith. Where was the armories way over there? It's kind of a ways. Oh yeah. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and buy a bunch of stuff, and I'll let you guys know what I do when I do that. So I'll be right back. All right, so I'm finally back, finally, and um, I have collected. Well, let's just look in the big screen so it's easier. Uh, I bought one Cure Serious Wounds potion and identified that I apparently have three others. I also bought one Detect Invisible and apparently I had four others. So that's those are two that are especially um, useful. I also have this Ring of Protection, which I haven't... Uh, yes, emergency, always emergency. So given my current armor, which isn't really that good, a Ring of Protection plus seven seems pretty darn good. And it only costs, I think it was like 80 or something. And that seemed like a good investment since it doesn't doesn't really weigh me down at all. I don't have any other rings, so why why the heck's not? You know. Anyway, um, I guess there's a couple more things I want. And what are you? You're okay. As long as you're not thieves, I guess I still want to buy a couple of like torches. I don't have a lot, a lot of money, if you notice. Um, let's buy three more of these, um, and let's buy rations of food because I'm kind of uh, low-ish on them. Yeah, I'll just buy all six. I have no gold at all. So yeah, that's, that's how that works. And sometimes people are annoying with begging for food. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I'll probably dungeon dive a little bit before I head back down again. We'll see how it goes. So yeah, this has been Game Hunter playing Aang, Aang Band. Excuse me, and join me next time when we uh, dungeon dive some and hopefully find some, you know, good progress overall with the mage type. And hopefully I don't die. I mean, I have yet to find another book, so hopefully I don't need anything too stronger than what I have currently. Uh, 44, that's cool. That's, anyway, so yeah, until then, keep playing those roguelikes, guys, and take care.